Another day, another dollar. Thank the Lord for another 24. God, I knew that was you, man. Just getting back to the crib, man. Evening, chilling, man. I just got back from the gym, man. Quick chest workout today, man. Went up to uh, 420 for one, man, and worked my way down. I'm in here finishing up cooking, man. I got, look at that. Got a nice, juicy, woo! Nice, juicy T-bone steak, man. I'm just waiting on my vegetables to finish roasting up, man. Tonight, I'm going to talk about the things that have changed in my life as I've gotten older, man. You know, I'll be 34 in December, right? You know, a lot of shit done changed in my life as I've gotten older, man. I don't do a lot of the same stuff I used to do when I was in my 20s, you know. Uh, I, I kind of calm down a little bit. I'm more focused on the future, the long run, you know. For starters, I don't go out as much, you know. I'm more of a homebody these days, man. You know, I'm the type, man... My chill in the house game, you know, chill in the house and don't do shit game is A1-100, man. I can sit in the house, man, all weekend, you know, when I ain't at work, you know, working a lot of hours or at the gym. I can sit in the house all weekend, man, and just watch my shows on Netflix, Hulu, uh, Amazon Prime, whatever, man. I don't need to be out. I don't need to be on the scene, you know. I don't drink as much, too, man. It's back in my 20s. My counter, my countertop, it would be lined up with bottles, man. I'm talking about all kinds of liquors, man. I'm talking about uh, Jameson, man, Johnny Walker, whiskey, Ciroc, tequila, all kinds. I would have just bottles. I would just buy bottles just to buy bottles, you know, and down there I have a drink almost every other day, you know. These days, man, hardly no liquor. This is the only bottle I got, man. I probably bought this bottle probably like, Three weeks ago, man, Casamigos tequila. These days, I babysit liquor, man. I, I might buy a bottle, and it might sit on my counter for months, man. You know, versus the old me in my 20s, man, I drink a bottle in a week or two, man. This be turning up, man, you know. But as I got older, I don't know, man. It's like something clicked. You know, I don't drink as much. I don't, I don't have the need or feel the need to drink. I'm social. I'm a social drinker, you know. When I'm out and about, I have a couple drinks. If I'm out at a kickback party, a special event, you know, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a throw something back. But as, as the night goes on, I start to cut it off. You know, I start drinking water, man. I'm like, yeah, I'm finna go home. You know, I don't, I, I don't run the street as late as I used to, man. You know, I might go out every now and then, get home late, 2, 3 in the morning. But these days, man, there's been times, man, over the past couple years, man, I might go out to the club. You know, and you know, the club don't start jumping to down there about 12, 12 at night. It'd be down there at 12 30. I'm leaving. I done got there, went to the club, chill for a little bit, had a couple drinks, mingled a little bit, talked to some people, you know, kicked it, and I'm gone. I done bounce, man. These, I'd rather go to like a damn bar or just a restaurant or like a cigar lounge, man, and just kick back for a little bit, smoke my cigar, have a drink, you know, be some cool people in there, vibe with them. And then I'm out, man. You feel me? I don't I don't feel the need to be out like that, man. I be in the crib, man. You know, I feel like that keeps me out of a lot of bullshit, too. A, a lot of unnecessary bullshit. You know, I done ran into shit in the past, like getting a DUI, man. I remember that. That was back in 2016. You know, I'm going to do a video on that, too, man, about when I caught a DUI New Year's Day, man. I was, what, 26, some shit like that, man. Yeah. Caught a DUI, New Year's Day, man. Went to an all-you-could-drink, uh, like a party at a hotel, man. New Year's Eve, first day, 2016, man. Got booked in the slammer. I'm like, fuck, man. That shit cost me a lot of fucking money, too, man. That whole ordeal, having to do the DUI, man. Stand there, about $8,000 I had, man, between buying, uh, paying for a lawyer, fucking doing the driving classes, having to get my license reinstated, I had the little, the breath, the breathalyzer on my car, the blow and go. You got to, you driving, you know, you can, you got to blow every so often, you know, to make sure you ain't been drinking, man. That was a whole ordeal, man. I'm like, man, I ain't going through that shit no more, man. So in essence, <coughs> excuse me, the going out as much, man, it saved me a lot of hassle, you know, a lot of, a lot of bullshit, man. You know, you go to the club, people to be in there drinking can't hold their liquor, start get to fighting, shoot and shit like that. Man, I'm cool. Yeah, I can do it. I can chill at the crib, sit my ass on the couch, have a drink at the crib, turn my music on at the crib. Man, I'm out the way. I ain't got time to be involved in no bullshit. 
Nobody else is be catching no no bullet for nobody else, man. Cause I'm cool with everybody at the end of the day, man. Unless somebody cross me. You feel me? Let's get one thing about it. I'm cool with everybody. You cool with me? I'm cool with you, man. Let's keep it moving. Boom. It's like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's up, Mel's man? As I've got older too, I start to accept things for what they are. You know, some shit in my life, I, mean, I just can't change, man. It just is what it is. My situation is some things in life, you know, no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, how hard you pray, you just can't change it. You just got to accept it for what it is. You know, as the older I get, the more I start to accept stuff for what they are, man. I just move past it. The, the faster you can get that in your head, man, the faster you can move past a lot of shit, man, and stop letting certain shit hold you back, you know? Some stuff you just got to get over, man. Some stuff, no matter what, no matter how hard you pray to God, no matter how hard you try, man, you just can't change it. You just got to accept it for what it is, you know? It just is what it is, man. Try to find a way to use it to your advantage, no matter what it is, you know? We all got shit about ourselves we don't like, man, maybe body deficiencies, you know, it just is what it is, man. Try to use it to your advantage, you know, try to find a way to turn your weakness into your strong, your strength. You feel me, man? Also, as I got older, man, you know, I had my daughter when I was 29, you know, she about to be five in January. So, you know, that made me change a lot too, man. You know, fatherhood, you know, as far as like, okay, I got a whole nother person in it. I done brought into this world, you know, so it ain't just about me. You know, I got to start making moves, you know, for her. You know, I got to think about her, you know, so a lot of shit I do, I can't just be as reckless as I was in my 20s. I got to think about the long run, you know. I got to make sure I'm here for her. So, you know, that calmed me down a lot, man. You know, most of the time I'd rather, you know, instead of going out, I'm, I'm, I'm with her, you know. Me and her mom were not together, you know, so we we share her. But when I got her, man, you know, it's all about her. You know, I try to make it all about her, man. You know, the time I'm with her, you know, we got a good relationship, me and her mom, and it is what it is, man. We make it work to the best. You know, we do what's best for baby girl, you know. I, that changed me a lot, man. Fatherhood, for sure, man. Like, I don't know, it's just some click, you know, when I found out. You know, I was having a uh, a kid, man. It was like, man, it's go mode. I got to get, I got to get even more serious, man. I got to make sure, you know, I'm trying to set up the future for her, man. Give her a life I never had, you know. Give her something more, you know. Give her a head start in life. So that that's that's always on my mind, you know. First and foremost, you know. Lastly, as I got older, I learned to just uh. uh just to enjoy the little shit in life, man. It's the little things, you know, the little things, the simple things bring me joy these days, man. I don't have to have a lot of extravagant shit, you know. It be the little shit, man, just like sitting out on the porch, you know, on a nice sunny day, man, in the morning or the evening, smoking my cigar or something, man, just watching the neighbors walk their dogs or, you know, cars passing by, the birds chirping, you know, the nice breeze, the trees, watching the leaves, got my music playing. Little shit like that, man. Going going out to eat, man, at some of my favorite restaurants. You know, I don't need a lot of shit, man. I don't need a lot of clothes. You know, I don't need, like, nothing over the top extravagant, man. I just try to enjoy the little things. Enjoy the moment, man, you know. Enjoy today because I might not be here tomorrow, man. As I've gotten older, you know, I just learned to appreciate the little shit in life, man, and just be thankful for the day, man. You feel me? Because I, like I said, you might not be here tomorrow. You don't know when your time is coming, man. You know, I don't, I don't, I try not to let shit stress me out, man. If it's outside of my control, you know, if I have no control over it, man, I'm not finna sit there and let that shit stress me out, man. This is what it is, man. I try to focus on what I can control, you know? Shit, like how hard I'm working. How, how hard I'm grinding every day, how how focused I'm staying on my goals, what it is I'm trying to accomplish out of life. That's the shit I can control. The shit you can't control, man, stop letting that shit stress you out, man. You know, like shit like the bills and shit might be piling up debt, man. You know, as long as you got your plan in play, you know, you got a way you figure out to make that shit work, man, pay that shit off. 
the people, man, they're going to get their money, man. Don't let these people stress you out. Situations, man, you know, you got to let go sometimes, man. A shit that you can let go, man. If it's holding you back, stressing you out, man, give you hell, just let go. I learned to let go of shit, man. I'm like, man, I'm cool. You know, if it ain't got shit to do with me, man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hands off, man. I just mind my business, stay in my lane, stay out the way, man. Just focus on me. You know, those are some of the things, though, man, that really changed as I've gotten older, man. You know, I used to be like my 20s. Oh, I'm just going to keep turning up, man. I'm just going to keep running, man, running the streets, shit like that, man. These days, man, I'll, I'll be in the bed, damn, some nights by goddamn 9 in the evening. It might be a Saturday evening, man, Saturday night. It's been times, man, I done had my outfit laid out. Man, I'm going to go to the club. I'm like, man, fuck it. I ain't going to no fucking club, man. I'm going to sit my ass on the couch, man, cut my show on, fix me something to eat, and call it a night, man. Just stay my ass at the crib. You know, I might, some nights I might be in the bed 8, 9 o'clock, man, you know. I used to laugh at my mom and my pops, you know, because they be in the bed every night. By down there 7, 30, down there 8 sometimes, you know, every night. And, you know, I'm like, damn, man, now I see why, man. As you get older, man, you know the responsibilities and shit. You be tired, man. You, you know, I still get up early. You know, they get up. They go to bed early, get up early. You know, I still do the same, but it's like I don't feel the need. You know, I'll be trying to go get my ass in the bed, especially me. I work night shift at the prison, so I try to get my ass in the bed, my night off, or if I'm on vacation. You know, I, like I said, I still have fun, still go out from time to time, still cut up a little bit. But it's like I had to tone down some as I got older, man. You know, and I feel like it's, I'm better for it. You know, I feel like it's made me a better person. You know, I've realized, you know, I got to focus more on my responsibilities. You know, the future, what I want out of life. You know, it makes you really tunnel in and lock in on your goals, man. So I really feel like it's better in the end, man, in the long run for me, you know. Y'all like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel at The Ghetto Bodybuilder. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, at the Ghetto Bodybuilder. I got merchandise for sale, man. Shop with me. All kind of t-shirts, hoodies. This one of my homie shirts right here I'm wearing right now. Fitness and finance. This is one of my homie, Barry uh, underscore double I, man. His website, fitness and fitnessandfinance.net if you want to order one of these shirts. But I got, like I said, merchandise on my website, man. All kind of hoodies, man. All kind of stuff. Crazy captions and what not, man. So, like I said, man, if you, uh, as you get older, you know, shit gonna change, man. You know, just accept it for what it is and just go with the flow, man. Don't try to fight it, man. It's a part of life, man. You getting older, you got more responsibilities. You got more on your plate, man. You know, it ain't, it's nothing wrong with, you know, not being able to go like you used to, you know, not being able to hang like you used to, man. You know, it's all good, you know. You still going to get out, have fun when you do, you know. You just, you locked in more of your goals, your responsibilities. If you got kids and whatnot, man, so just go with the flow, baby. Y'all know how we coming. Let's get motivated.